We're considering many of the issues that define successful unionism and effective unionism. One of the real issues though is the ability to develop decent conditions of employment on the job. That demonstrates itself in many ways. There are two ILO instruments that go to the fundamental protections of being able to have dignity, to have self-respect, to have engagement, to have an effective communication in the workplace. That's freedom of association. The Howard government, like Alice in Wonderland, turned everything ass about. Their idea of freedom of association was the right not to be in a union. We're at the pointy end of the campaign. It's there for us to grab the future of our right to work in our own industry. It's rare in the Australian trade union movement to see the deep democracy that exists in our bargaining processes. The respect of the rank and file and their engagement in it ensures that we have high density and membership and good agreements at the end of the day. The Maritime Union is a collective. We are a team. No individual is above the team. The priority issues for all of our enterprise bargaining is safety, training, decent superannuation, good compensation to cover workers injured in our dangerous industries that we work. And we progress those claims in a strategic and militant way. High density of union membership because they want to be in this union. That's how we win our struggle. We've seen lockouts, we've seen strike action, we've seen incredible actions by POAGs in Port Kembla to fly in scabs by helicopter to break our picket line. This is an outright ruling class offensive by employers in this country to smash the conditions of workers. The MUA will continue to stand up. Industrially, the MUA is the most strongest and militant union in the country. We can continue to achieve great results in the industry by staying focused on the messages that we need to send to the employers. If we organise, unite and fight, we'll continue to share those successes over the coming four years. We're good bargainers. We bargain in good faith. We're hated because of our effectiveness to represent workers in a real way. So if we are going to have a regulatory framework, that's going to give workers the ability to thrive and bargain and find justice in their workplace. It's about strong unions need strong commitment from workers. That's you. That's the sister and brother next to you. That's the commitment. You're the union. I'm the union. We're all the union together.